ho, ho, me hearties. A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one, and it's just lovely to have you with us. Dinky-doo, welcome, welcome to our Tuesday evening pop-up. Nothing gets past me, of course, so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. So do feel free to come and join us and take part in our evening pop-up. There's Greg joined us. Uh, follow us as soon as you come on. Of course, that's always very, very much appreciated because we like to have lots and lots of followers. There is the lovely Maria Knight joining us and very, very generously and kindly giving me some TikToks. Maria, you are an angel. Just 20 now. Uh, well, 25 stop now. Oh my goodness me. Maria has given me loads and loads of TikToks, guys. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands. It's just fantastic. And it's so lovely to have you with us. And Maria, thank you very, very, very much. Incredible stuff. So there you are. If you've just joined us, guys, a very, very warm welcome to our good evening pop-up. Hi from Tucson in Arizona in the United States. We love you there. And dinky-doo, guys. Good evening, Scotty bro. Hello, Archie. Lovely to have Archie with us tonight. And a very, very warm welcome. Share the live as soon as you come on, guys, and follow us if you haven't followed us. You're looking very dapper this evening. I thank you, dinky you do. A shout out to Mr. Singh. Yes, indeed. Good evening. Good evening from Tonga. We love you in Tonga. Do you remember Queen Siloti of Tonga? Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. You're welcome, Scotty. Hope you're okay. Maria Knight, thank you so much. You are just such an angel, and you've been such a lifesaver to me. So, can we see your trim? Absolutely. I'm in good trim tonight. So that's fantastic stuff. Can you say hi to all of us? Yes, indeed. Hello, Archie, says Tonga. Top of the morning to you from Ireland. Absolutely red foot. What's Floatai? First Lord of the Internet. So get that trending right round the Internet. Hashtag Floatai. Good evening, my Lord. Good evening, Fat Spoon. How lovely to have you back with us. And a big dinky do to you, binky dinky do from the big one. Very, very important to have you with us. And there's Go for talking to Niall. <laughs> he wants Star to join us. Good evening, Star. How are you? Excellent, Cammy. Thank you very, very much. Now then, we don't talk football business. We don't talk players. Hello, everyone. Dinky do. A very, very warm welcome. Now, yes or no to independence? Well, a yes to independence as long as we keep the queen and uh, we'd have to anyway have you ever been to the caribbean scotty bob ons just sent me a cup of tea can you make the noise of a border collie yes i can are you ready That sort of thing. Hi, Scotty from Greenock. Willie, we love Greenock and we send you joy and dinky do. The Queen's stealing our money, Jeremiah. A complete and utter thousand percent myth. The Queen gives and gives and gives you money. She doesn't take a penny. Right? The civil list costs you the same as a packet of crisps. Fantastic stuff. So absolutely fantastic. Where's the second part of your tale? Shakaroni. I didn't have time to upload, but I will do. There's three parts to it. Do you know where Beath is? Beath or Beath? I remember meeting a guy who was from there, and he called it Beath. He said, I'm from Beath. Yes, absolutely. There we are. Love your eyes. I thank you very much. Beath or Beath is a beautiful town in Ayrshire. Beautiful little Georgian town. It's Colin from Lerwick. Dinky doo, Lerwick. Lovely to have you with us. I love your eyes. Thank you, DX. Very, very kind of you. How's the lighting tonight, guys? Are we okay for lighting? So I noticed earlier it looked a little bit dark. 
a little bit ghostly. What's the best town in Scotland? Well, they're all different. I mean, Greenock's got to be the best, but Greenock's needing some serious investment. Have you been to Clacton on Sea, my man? No, I don't know that part of the south so well. I must go and see that. And also, have you got, uh, what else have you got down there? Uh, the Waverley used to visit along the Thames there. I know that. What's the best country you've ever been to, Scotty? Oh, I think Scotland, England, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Wales, Portugal, Germany, France. <laughs> what do you think about the state of the Oak Mall? Well, I'm very sorry that the Oak Mall, uh, I opened the Oak Mall. Uh, Scotty McClue opened the Oak Mall about... What would it be, maybe 25 years ago? Would that be right exactly? Bob On has sent me a lovely gift, I thank you. Uh, how big's your CD collection? Well, here's some of it. Yes, there's some of it. That's just some of it. You know what I mean? That sort of idea. Do you believe in demonic possession? Um, do I believe in demonic possession? Well, I've only met one very, very bad man who took money off me in a business deal. And um, I'm not sure if he was possessed by demons, uh, you know, but there was certainly a touch of the evil in there. Uh, you know, there's no doubt about that. You see, good must always triumph over evil. Otherwise, the world's doomed. We're all doomed. Fantastic. Do you like Indian food, Scotty? Personal love the stuff. I don't like Indian food, no. I love Indian food. Fantastic. I like a wee Peshwari nan. Always excellent stuff. Who's sending me gifts here? Bob on. Bob on, you're very, very kind and generous. Maria is uh, one of my main, main beautiful benefactors. And uh, you're being very generous. Um, I'm having a crappy day. Do something awesome. Do a dab. <laughs> I shall dab for you. I'll throw you a few shapes. No problem at all. Do you support Muslims? Everybody supports Muslims. All the world's great religions. Yes, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Sikhism, you know, all these great religions. Let's get round and support them. What do you think about the rush in cuisine? I find the cabbage soup is, I miss that, it's gone. I'm an aspiring historian, Scotty. Are there any historical places you'd recommend me to go? All of it, all of Scotland is very, very historical. You know, it just depends what kind of history do I, do you like Russia? I love Russia. I say private, private to you. So they were fantastic stuff. Now, guys, remember not to bother coming on here if you're a wee troll, because we'll have to send you doing the swanee as toast. Where do you live? I live on TikTok. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Now, who else have we got here? Scotty, who was the best James Bond? Oh, Sean Connery, without a shadow of doubt. He made the role, but some of them were very good. George Lazenby was excellent, but he was only in one on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Have you ever heard the song Rasputin by Bonnie? Yes, I have, actually. Rasputin, he was a wild character, old Rasputin. But the Tsarina had great faith in him. Do you want to go to Jerusalem? I'd love to go to Jerusalem. The Argyles were in Jerusalem at the end of the Second World War. What about Brosnan? Outstanding James Bond, Piers Brosnan. Excellent actor. Can you play Mindset on YouTube? I don't know. I'd love to see Mr. Bean as James Bond. Well, no, Mr. Bean was Johnny English. Remember that? Johnny English. There we are. Celtic or Rangers? My advice user would be go and see them both play. Make up your mind. You know, follow us, guys. We need followers as soon as you can. Uh, now then, who we got here? You're a handsome guy. I think you. Have you ever been to Miami? I think the weather is very nice. Sean Connery and Daniel Craig. Timothy Dalton. 
the most underrated. Yes, but what about our old friend Roger Moore? I thought Roger was excellent as well. He could just raise an eyebrow, you know. Ye hillens and ye lowlands, oh, where he ye been? Absolutely fat spoon. Fat spoon as in pH, fat. Fantastic. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. There are, are you a grandpa? I'm the world's grandpa. Do you always wear a kilt? Not always. No, no, not always. I wear trousers during the day at work. See you soon, fantastic Superman. Dinky do. Maria Knight, you are absolutely gorgeous. Maria is sending me red roses. She sends them by the dozen. But she's gone by the dozen, so now we stop now. There we are, it's two dozen. That's more. Have you ever been to Glasgow? I love riding the subway trains. The clock went on. Archie, you should have gone to Glasgow in the old days. Before the clockwork orange, as we call it, came on, you had the original Victorian trains. Woo! And remember the smell of the subway. There we are. Share and share and share. And of course, guys, if you can, can you please follow me? We need followers. Have you ever been to London? I know every inch of London. Bob on, thank you for these beautiful gifts. Bob on, how are you managing to send two sets of red roses at the one time? Do you know the song, Donald, Where's Your Trousers? Of course I do. I knew Andy Stewart very well. I worked with him in Aberdeen. The greatest ever Scotsman, in your opinion. You mean apart from Scotty McClue? Um, I think James Watt, Robert Burns, Robert Watson Watt, McAdam, Thomas Telford, um, Henry Bell, John Robinson, his engineer. Uh, who else have we got? Hang on a second. Greatest ever Scotsman. Uh, Greek Thompson, James Greek Thompson. Uh, another wonderful Scotsman. Charles Rennie McIntosh. Who else have I got while I'm here? Um, many, 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 many Army, Navy, and Air Force top people. Uh, another great Scots person, uh, Bonnie Prince Charlie, of course, wonderful man. Uh, Charles the First, quite a remarkable character. Um, James the Second, a remarkable character. These are all wonderful Scotsmen. Who else have we got? Alexander Fleming. Somebody's just told me penicillin. Sir John Crofton, curing tuberculosis. Yes, uh, tuberculosis. Uh, now, who else have we got? Simpson, um, James Simpson, anaesthetics. Um, Joseph Lister, antiseptic. Who else were Alexander Graham Bell, the telephone, where Scotty McClure made his mark on the telephone. Do you know Alexander Graham Bell, I think, was trying to invent something to help his daughter. His daughter it was, or his niece was deaf, and uh, he came up with the telephone. So there we are. The Bonnie Earl of Murray, James Claverhouse. There we are. The McDonald's of Glen Cole. Fantastic. Who else have we got? The great Scots people. The Earl of Elgin. Marvellous man, Andrew Elgin. Um, who else have we got? Robert the Bruce. William Wallace. Did we do? We did James Watt, of course. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Andrew Carnegie. John Muir. Oh, yes. I heard today that Pandora never had a box. She must have had something. What do you think of Admiral Lord Nelson? Um, he was an interesting one, Nelson, yes. Yes, a very interesting one. That's the stuff. The founder of the SES, James Stirling. Yes, Lord Lovett, the founder of the Commandos. There's another one for you, Shimmy, Simon Lovett. Fantastic. Whose great-grandson we had on here last week. Incredible. 
Uh, I met Sean Connery two years ago, and he was awesome. He was awesome. Uh, earlier tonight, I would popped up, and I was telling the story. My aunt worked in a shop in Argyle. And uh, she uh, was working away behind the counter and she was doing something for the shop. And then she looked up because she was aware there was a customer. And here was this stunningly beautiful, gorgeous, handsome, big Scotsman. And it was Sean Connery. And, uh, you know, she was serving Sean Connery. And that was, oh, in the early 60s, From Russia With Love, they were filming. And they were doing it at Loch Craignish in Argyle, just up near Loch Gilphead. Uh, so they were apparently Pandora de Glass Jar. So it said on Radio 4. Oh, well, if it said it on Radio 4, then it, there's a chance it will be spot on. Do you support Black Lives Matter? Well, that's a rhetorical question. Everyone does, because we were all black at one point. Scotty, why does Scotland have the greatest stand-up comedians of all time? Well, nobody has asked them to sit down. Dink you do, Scotty, have a great evening. Scotty, Jimmy McDonald working in the oil rig on the North Sea 100 miles. Hawk 1. Yes, indeed. Hawk 1, Hawk 1, Hawk 1. Scotty McClue, Scotty McClue, Scotty McClue. Are you reading me? Over. Uh, hey, my man, how are you? Dinky do. Luke, if you don't want, shush, off you go. How are we all black? Well, we all originated in Africa, in the African Rift Valley, and we only became white or pale as our pigmentation changed as we came out the direct heat of the burning sun. Fear no more the heat of the sun. There we are. Let's do a photo shoot, man. Okay, man. So there we are. You're so sporting. I do my best. There we are. There's somebody wanting mints. I haven't got any at an Aberdeen Angus for my tea. Uh, dinky do, Scotty. How are you today? Fantastic. Are you aware your eyes are so beautiful? Thank you, Glass. You say lovely things. Do you prefer a pint of Guinness? I don't drink alcohol. Do you like Nicola Sturgeon, Scotty? She's an excellent politician and a first-class leader. Do you support LGBTQ? Yeah, but we need to make it LGBTQS. You need to include straight people in that. But uh, on here, you don't have to identify as anything because we're very, very modern and we're all inclusive. Uh, crazy but when, if you don't want a lifetime ban, take that down. We hear you, Scotty Big Brother Eagle One. We're off the coast of the Isle of Lewis. You're there with the Yosefs. Do we have a visual on you? Yes, indeed. Scotty, are you using... Hang on a second. Scotty, are you using communist race theories, which have been debunked? No, 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 no. I'm just giving you facts, VSC. I don't do communist race theories. That was for your friend Stalin. Do you think Smith would be a great president... Well, so the great president of the USA. Well, I, I don't know, Archie. I mean, the only reason I'm not the president is because I'm not an American citizen. There we are. Uh, thoughts on tonic wines? We don't agree with alcohol. Scotty, were you in the Air Force? Um, well, I won't go into all that just now. There we are. Um, thoughts on the wicker man? I think he had a tough time, you know. No doubt about it. Do you know that in Wales it's illegal to hug your sheep past 10 p.m.? I don't think it is. I think you made that up, trying to be funny, because this is lambing at the moment, and the sheep will need to be hugged. Scotty, I identify as an amphibious landing craft. Excellent. Maybe I could get a lift over to Millport with you. Bro, you handsome, respectfully. So, bro, you say lovely things. I thank you. Right, to your, oh, I nearly said, to your telephones. To your announcements, let's see what is what on here. Fantastic, right? I'll just get short of that. That's us. Hi from London, love your hat. Carry on the positivity. Jack, we love London. Which part of London are you in? Guys, can I have followers. Where did we where all black souls come from? It's a fact we're all from the African Rift Valley in East Africa. 
That's how we all got here. It's not a theory, it's a fact. Have you ever played a video game? Oh, a great big video game. I once applied for an out-of-vision announcer's job. And a friend of mine who'd done the job said, Son, that's not the job for you. It's like a big video game where all the odds are stacked against you. <laughs> we love it. Guys, I need you all to follow me. Thoughts on the Euro 2020 and Scotland? Well, indeed. Have you ever been on an aircraft carrier? No, but my dear friend served on HMS Ark Royal during the Second World War. He was a lieutenant in the fleet air arm, and he flew fairy swordfish aircraft, the old string bags, off the Ark Royal. And very, very recently, somebody posted a photo of a fairy swordfish taking off from the Ark Royal. And I thought, that's probably Uncle Jack. Ha <laughs> ha, dinky do. Now, what have we got here? Have you, oh yes, indeed. Long aid Dodo, grow up. Benny Gill, thank you for your beautiful gift of red roses. There's somebody from Derry, on London Derry, depending on your point of view. Fact has been disproven. No, it hasn't. So you should be our Prime Minister. What country are you in? Thoughts on the Islam religion? Well, it's, uh, it's a very well-established one of the world's great religions. Religion, you see, never, ever, ever causes a problem. All right? Never causes a problem. What causes a problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding of that religion. So there we are. Uh, the Devaney, it's not funny at all. So what we'll do with you, we'll bin you. Here's a guy making his way down the Swanee for thinking that on here were as puerile as him. Boy, there we are. Fantastic. Oh, so funny. Oh, so funny. Not funny at all. There he's gone. He's binned. Right, and he's been spamming as well. Fairy Swordfish, Sank the Bismarck. Yes, a gentleman from Dunkeld in Persia, a Scotsman who launched the uh, the torpedo from his fairy swordfish, and that sank the Bismarck after she'd sunk the hood. Uh, what month is it, says Jake? What month is what? There we are, if I may ask. Uh, that's like saying God's real. It's a fact. Well, God is real. It's a fact. <laughs> so I think you need to check your facts. John 14, verse 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Absolutely, God is king. There we go. We'll be looking out for the supermoon. Always, Onion. Fantastic. Have we not got an eclipse coming up at some point? Advice on general motivation. Well, I, the way I do it, you know, I get up at uh, five o'clock in the morning and I say to myself, get up, I won't tell you again. And that's enough for me, do you know what I mean? Where did you get your flat cap, Scotty? This one is Hogs of Fife, one of the finest you can possibly get. Are you into bird watching? Yes, I'm an ornithologist. Fantastic. What do you think happened to the politician Willie McCree back in the 80s? An accident or foul play? Well, it's very easy to have conspiracy theories, but I think, did we not hear that the car had actually been moved and put back? So there we are. And that would make more sense. You know, I mean, what possible reason would there have been to have foul play? Uh, come on, nice to come on, be nice, love on here, absolutely. Yes, indeed, lots of love. Scotty, can you give my pal a shout out? Cheers. Yes, indeed. God is good. God is exceptionally good. Guys, I need you all to follow us. Scotty, you can't afford to be opinionated. 
So remain impartial. VSC, this is not opinion. This is fact. So I can afford to give you fact. If I wanted to be opinionated, there's absolutely no reason why I can't be. Yes, indeed. All right. No problem at all. How far do you think Scotland will go in the Euros? We shall have to see. Scotty, were you on Talk Sport at one time? Uh, yes, but it wasn't called Talk Sport. It was called Talk Radio UK. There we are. I sat in for James Whale. George Parker, you lovely, lovely, generous person. Maria, Maria's back giving me beautiful finger hearts. My darling, I put my hand in my heart for you. You're so beautiful. Uh, now, what have we got here? Was Scotty's career as a younger man? Television, radio, newspapers, opera. <laughs> when are you going to visit Tachus? I can't, I can't make that out. Do you remember the Batley Variety Club? Oh, I know Batley very, very well. Aye. Fox's Biscuits. I can my in sin the sicht of the beast. O Loch Ness the day. Fat spoon. Are you serious? Are you into the onion business? No, I don't stay in Lincolnshire. I remember driving through Lincoln and I came to RAF Cranwell where Douglas Bader trained, and um, I could smell onions. There we are. Now, would you date a transgender female? I don't know. I don't have any plans to do so. There we are. So what do we got here? Uh, follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Your thoughts on James Herriot. My uncle used to work with him. Yes, uh, his name was Alf White, and he worked with the Farmans, were called the Sinklers, the Sinkler brothers in Yorkshire, and my uncle trained with them, and they were just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. So they were, I knew him very well, Alf White. That's uh, what about that? And my uncle. Uh, he was very keen on racehorses. He was a vet for racehorses. And he once got kicked sideways on the knee by a racehorse. And it caused him tremendous pain. And they put a plate in his leg. And he had tremendous pain with his plate on his knee. Then he got booted on the same place by another racehorse a year or two later. The kick bent the plate and the pain went away. Isn't that interesting? What's your opinion on Ronald Reagan? I loved Ronnie Reagan. I thought he was just superb. And he could tell a great story. You know, wonderful man. It looks like you have something in your teeth on the bottom. It's really bothering me. Fear not, do not worry. If it was bothering me, I would bother you. The fact it's not bothering me means it's not there. Uh, send us, uh, thank you so much for your finger arts, Maria. Maria, my mince is socially distancing itself from my tatties. What should I do? Gobble them up. Gobble them up. Your facts are not facts. If they weren't facts, then I wouldn't tell you them, would I? Do you miss the old Soviet Union? Well, I tell you a man I miss, President Gorbachev, you know, and uh, I think he was wonderful. <laughs> and there was President Yeltsin. Yes, indeed. Remember hearing a lovely story about President Yeltsin. We must vote Scotty for president. Love the way you speak. You will make a huge impact. I'll stand up there and I'll go, my fellow Americans. This is the future. Let's take our country to great heights. There we are. I'm on the dons, says Lenin. There we are. Trust, trust you spoiling my, my inauguration speech I was rehearsing there. I like your ITV news readings. They're very good. I thank you, Archie. Someone cancel this guy. Let's cancel you. I'm just cancelling RU4. 
RU4 is cancelled. CLR, bye, bye. There you go. Fantastic. We just cancelled that guy. Hello from Thurso in the north of Scotland. Franktown will cancel you for shushing me. You never, ever, ever, ever shush Scotty McClue. Frank Town's gone, guys. Watch him leave. Are you watching? Watch the streams. There he goes. Woo! Bye bye, Frank Town. There we are. Bin the spammers, I say. Guys, can you share us? There we are. The Sinclair C5. Excellent, uh, excellent machine. There we go. Now, who have we got here? Guys, how are we doing on the lives? Have you followed me? And have you liked all the TikTok videos? Do you travel? Have you ever been to the nether? What are you giving me? Mike, go away and grow up. There we are. Hello from Thurso in the north of Scotland. We love you, Thurso and Wick. There we are. The Sinclair XX Spectrum was made in Dundee. VSC Dundee is a great place for electronics. Were you not also the center of video games and things? There you are. Would you be interested in dating me? I don't know anything about you. What date would you like me to put on you? There we are. Fantastic. Now, uh, lol and lol, what's your favorite aftershave? Well, I don't use aftershave. You know, I remember being at a restaurant with my uncle. And we stood up, and he was a bit of a funster, and I said to him, uh, <laughs> I said, right, is that us? Have we left anything? And he went, nothing, a squirt of deodorant wouldn't shift. <laughs> what are your thoughts on Chernobyl? Well, I wouldn't book a holiday there, even with the pandemic. Cheeky, cheeky, says Glesney. You like us, cheeky Glesney? Would you date me? There we are. That's what you've got to think. That's a very interesting point. Absolutely, Archie. Very interesting point. How do you feel about Diana being murdered? No, Diana died in a car crash because she wasn't wearing her seatbelt. She wasn't in a car where the security was right. Uh, otherwise, the driver would have insisted she wear her seatbelt or not go anywhere. The man that was driving had had a drink. He was doing excessive speeds through an underpass. And, uh, you know, that's just a recipe for disaster. He had the boss's son in the back egging him on. Go on, fast, fast. They'll never catch us. You know, and that sort of thing. So, you know, it was all a recipe for disaster. Sorry to disappoint your conspiracy theories, but there was absolutely no reason for anything to happen to Diana. All right, are we clear on that? Capiche? Uh, there we go. Come on, the hoops. If you say, on the hoops, I've got to see up the jails. The biggest test man. Biggest test man. Are you talking... Um, a test pilot. What rugby club did you play for and what position? Tight head prop. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Never been to Thursday. That was, is a busy metropolis. I think once you're into the, the little centre street, it can be quite busy on a Saturday morning. Is Thursday busy, guys? He says he's never been to Tharza. He's probably from Wick. Do you support Israel or Palestine? Support both in equal measure. There we are. Uh, are you a lord? I'm the first lord of the internet. I am Floatai. Hashtag Floatai. Tonight's news, we're going to dance. Excellent stuff. I'm from Aberdeen. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so there we are. What's your opinion on HMS Bounty, Scotty? I love them. I love both the bars. Like coconut. What's your favorite takeaway? Oh, my favorite takeaway would be, um, wait till we see. My favorite takeaway would be 100 pounds in the bank. Take away 100. That would be my favorite, I think. Rescue me. I'm from Lerwick. You haven't. Made it if you haven't made the grand at Blackpool. 
Uh, yes, I have the Blackpool Grand. Yes, I uh, I might go on there. I'm back, legend, Frankie Town, dinky-doo. Dinky-doo to you, brother. Thank you, everybody. Who have we got here? Uh, where are you from? I am from Scotland. How wonderful is that? Now, guys, have you followed me? I need to find out. I've got some permissions here. I'll do a little bit of checking. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. There we are. Excellent stuff. Now, give us your feedback, guys. I will give you the truth. You can have a discussion. No man can tither time or tide. Fat spoon, time and tide waits for no man. I'll tell you, Time and Tide was the name of the autobiography of a group captain, Peter Townsend, who had been dating Princess Margaret, the Queen's sister. Time and Tide, fabulous, fabulous autobiography. Very, very nice man, Peter Townsend. They left Diana for 30 minutes before they got her in the ambulance. Well, it would have taken all that probably to get there. Do you know what I mean? But, uh, but uh, you know, obviously she'd gone by that time. There we are. Uh, do you know what happened during the USA Civil War? Well, I think the North actually won. I think that was the latest thing I'd heard. Have you ever been to the dark side of Kingston? Kingston Town, do you mean Kingston in Glasgow? Kingston in Jamaica? Is there not a Kingston in New York? Very interesting, Scotty. There you are, Fat Spoon. There we are. We never have a dull moment. Do you like Ireland? I don't like Ireland. I love Ireland. Scotty, how are you? A dinky do? Uh, will you watch Scotland at the Euros? Uh, uh, probably. I might if, I, if I've got time. I get very rushed. You know, there's so much happens. There we are. Do come and join us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and the world's most humble man. Always lovely to have you with us. Mm. What is Scotty's IQ? Scotty's IQ is 164 at the last count. Is that quite good? The Irish need to be cuddled, says Kokoda. Yes, the Irish are lovely, lovely people. They're very cuddly. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We're very, very short on followers. Very, very big on viewers. Well over half a million viewers, and we've only got 13,500 followers. What's going on? Right, let's have a follow fest, please. Hey, mate, what's going on? Yeah, what is going on, Penna? We're trying to ask people, would they mind just following, just clicking follow? It's not too much to ask, is it? I don't know. Now, who have we got here? I'm just going to check. While I'm doing this, guys, can you all follow me? Are you an Ashkenazi? Uh, is that Ashkenazi? Do you mean am I a concert pianist? Who have we got here? Right, I'm just going to see, guys, if anybody's followed me. Can you all do the same? Just did. Thank you, Ethan. Very, very good of you. You can't have an IQ of 164. You're a genius in my eyes. Is 164 not genius? I got told I was very, very clever when I got my result. Hello, Scotty Dinky Doo, luxury cars. Scotty, I traded half my IQ points for Bitcoin, and now I'm stupid and broke. Nothing stupid about you, Dairy Milk. Have you ever been anywhere in the Middle East? No, I've been invited, and I know a lot of people from the Middle East, but apparently it's so hot on the sand during the day that... Um, Guys, I need some more followers, please. Come on. Let's do the decent thing and follow Scotty McClure. Fond memories of the good old days. Oh, I've got so many memories. That's a big mug. How dare you talk about me like that? That's shocking. I am not a mug. I'll have you know, I'm a black belt in karaoke. Ah, 
Scotty, tell us the story of the massacre of Glen Coe. Well, it's a very serious story. All right. All the Highland chiefs, King William, who was a real baddie, right? King William, William of Orange, they brought him over from Holland because he was married to Mary, who was the king's daughter, James II's daughter. And um, that was the start of constitutional monarchy. Anyway, he issued orders because he was frightened of Scotland, very frightened, a bit like people are today. He was very frightened of Scotland's strength and all the wild clan chiefs. So he ordered that all the clan chiefs should um, sign that, uh, you know, they were allegiant to, um, to himself. And one of his representatives was Campbell of Argyle, the Marquis of Argyle, right? The Marquis of Argyle. I'm just wondering, would that be Red John? He was known as Red John of the Battles. Anyway, the Marquis of Argyle. And uh, he was a sort of Anglo-Scotsman based in Inverera. And he was told to gather in all the signatures from the clan chiefs. And... MacDonald was slow to get his in because the communications were slow. He had agreed to, you know, swear allegiance, but the legal document, all that, and that was slow. So, um, with all the snow in the wilds of the winter, MacDonald's order had not reached Edinburgh. And... Um, Campbell was ordered to uh, do away with the McDonald's. So they went and lived with them, ate and drank at the McDonald's hospitality, then got up in the night and stabbed them all to death. And the Earl of Stair had written the order on a playing card. I think it was the Nine of Diamonds. Is that right? Have I got that right? The Seven of Diamonds? I think it was the Nine of Diamonds. The Earl of Stair had written the order on a playing card. And that was it. And until really very recently, certainly till after the Second World War, a Campbell could not even get a drink of water at anyone's door in Glencoe. Isn't that interesting? There we are. And I believe there's not a McDonald's in Glencoe to this day. Can you dab for vibes? Dab for vibes. What vibes? What vibes are you giving me? There we are. Would you like a glass of Campbelltown whiskey? Do you know there used to be, was it 12 distilleries in Campbelltown? It was pretty big, you know, something like that. Tell me about Edward VII's womanizing. Well, Edward VII, he was a charming, charming man and a very brilliant man. He was Queen Victoria's son. And um, he'd committed a little bit of uh, indiscretion when he was in Ireland training as a young officer in the, in the army. And um, yes, he's had a wee bit of the how's your father, a bit of the, a bit of the um, one, two, buckle my shoe. Anyway, news got back to Prince Albert, his father, and he went to sort it all out. And uh, the problem was he got uh, typhoid while walking in the streets of Cambridge, I think. And when he got back, he took a fever and died. So Queen Victoria lost her beloved Albert, and she blamed Bertie, her eldest son, for Albert's death. So she didn't really get on with him. So he did a lot of womanizing. He was married to a beautiful lady called Alexandra. She was a Danish princess. Princess Alexandra, Queen Alexandra, she lived until 1922, so that was him, he died in 1910 at 70, but he did a terrific amount of womanizing, one of them was um, Camilla's great-grandmother, um, Alice Keppel, who was the wife of Major George Keppel, and Edward VII was very friendly with her, another one was Lily Langtree, who um, was the mother of Jen Malcolm, who married uh, Ian Malcolm 
of Pultalach House in Argyle. The McCallums, the Malcolms of Pultalach. You know, fantastic stuff. And um, she was the daughter of Lily Lanktree by Lord Mountbatten's father, so they said. So that was uh, that was what was going on at the time. But, uh, you know, he was a wonderful man. He was a brilliant agriculturalist, a mortal farmer, and very good at talking to people. Very, very interesting. He was actually a very nice man. I went to Copenhagen in a Danish buttered biscuit from a tin, Copenhagen. Do you think we should continue in some capacity after death? Well, of course we do. My goodness, have you ever visited Dune Castle? I have. Ere the castle Dune, ere the bonny Ella Murray come soon and through the tune. Lang me his lady. Scotty, I didn't know the Campbells were so vicious. <laughs> Daily Bill, I can't say that. There was a backup singer for the Proclaimers. I was at Glastonbury when they performed. This is wonderful, guys. Are you the guy that plays and still game with Jack and Victor? Go to the countryside house. No, no, I wish I did. They reckon I was the inspiration for still game. Would you support the Nuremberg Trials Mark II for today's criminal, political, and corporate policy enforcers? I think they'll get their comeuppance, you know what I mean? Now, who have we got here? I think I'll take you on a date. What a lovely thing to say. Do you support common law, Scotty? Well, common law is really the main law of England. The main law of England is based on common law. And before you had the Supreme Court, the House of Lords was the highest court in the land. There you are, you see. What happens when I die? Your body just fades away, dust to dust, and your spirit and your ideas and your thoughts all live on. A ghost is just an unhappy spirit. Can you do more piano videos? Do you like these luxury cars? Guys, get on YouTube, or in fact, get on TikTok here. Scroll down and you'll see me teaching you the piano in seven minutes. A wacko, what are you doing? Let's get rid of you. A wacko does not belong on here, I can tell you. Amazing stuff. Right. Hello from Timbuk2, Scotty. You've spelt it the wrong way. <laughs> Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. There we are. I love your hat. How amazing is that? Hey, you look like Grandpa. I thank you very much. Your energy is amazing. Thank you, Thomas. Woo! Let's get in there, guys. Follow us as soon as you can. Now, have I got anybody who's followed me tonight? Let's just see. Yes, come on now. Let's have it. And remember, hashtag Floatai. Wanderlust Lassie, thank you for my gifts. Guys, can we have a follow fest, please? Everybody following Scotty McClure. Partly you go up to the top left-hand corner and go tap, 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 tap. Is that right? Can all of you do it now, please? Because I can't believe I've had over half a million viewers and I'm stuck at 13,700 followers and 30,000 likes. What are you at, guys? Come on now. Everybody following. Do you support the Bilderberg Group? Well, I don't go to the meetings if that's what you're asking. Have you ever had a supernatural experience? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. I didn't see a ghost. How did COVID happen? Well, the latest evidence is what I told you at the start, that it escaped from a lab in, uh, in China. Do you think politicians are appointed by the rich and powerful and not by the public vote? Well, they're lined up for the public vote. Does that make sense? And the public are then convinced to vote for them. They'll tell you anything if they can get your vote. But they've been lined up for the vote. Do you see what I mean? And they might even have got a lame duck in opposition. 
And your honour, we know. What kind of sweeties do you like to chew on? Well, I was once late to work because I'd lost a locket. They're my favourite sweets. Uh, no, I quite like, I love Smarties. Uh, the doctor told me to take two blue Smarties uh, with a little water. Scotty, do you know Drumna Drocket D? I know Drumna Drocket very well. I have friends in Drumna Drocket. Have you ever been to a live concert and who did you see? Uh, who did I go and see? I went to... Uh, I went, oh, what do you mean have I ever been to a live concert? I've conducted one of the world's greatest orchestras in front of 20,000 people at the Manchester Arena. <laughs> um, yeah, I went to see the Corries. I went to see, um, who else? I went to see Neil Diamond. Uh, I didn't go to Michael Jackson. I could have gone to any concert I wanted. Um, who else? I used to go to the Corries. Used to go and see the Corries regularly. Uh, and who else did I go to? Um, the Eurythmics, yes. Uh, but it was a bit too loud. We had to leave. Yes, my girlfriend was saying, oh, my ears. I'm going to drum the Drocket on Saturday, which is near Inverness. You're quite correct, Dee. Our eyes are sentinels to our judgment. Fat spoon, I do admire you. Billy Joe, yes, wonderful. Billy Joel, there we are. My friend used to go to Billy Joel concerts. He just absolutely loved Billy Joel. Uh, there we go. What have we got here? I love the Eurythmics. Sweet dreams and incredible masterpiece. Could you say hi to my friend Toby? Uh, very funny. Very not, not that funny, actually, Vial. But we'll not ban you. How old are you? We just don't know, Ali. Um, I could be 28. I could be 2 million. Because I'm a time traveler, you see. This is, uh, we just, we just don't know. It's very crazy. Right, who have we got? Have we got any more followers, guys? Has everybody followed Scotty McClure tonight? I bet you haven't. Do direct energy weapons and what have we got here? Hang on. Have you ever been to Easington Colliery? I have. And my dear friend, uh, Mike Elliott, who's sadly no longer with us, Mike the Mouth to you, Jodies in the Northeast on Century Radio, Mike Elliott filmed in Billy Elliott at Easington Colliery. There you are, Easington. Fantastic. Bob Dylan's 80th birthday yesterday. Love Bob Dylan. Fantastic. So how do you deal with someone stealing from you? Well, you can just hope that they live as long as possible in the very best of health, so they have to live with themselves. There we are. Are you Christ? Uh, I'm not Christ, but uh, but thank you for spotting similarities. Hello, Scotty. How are you this evening? Stay there. Uh, have you come back on? I should have unmuted you, but uh, you took your punishment like a man. There we are. Now, uh, who have we got here? Some we troll here. Tonga, I'm going to ban you for life for trolling. There we are. You know. There's nobody of that name, and you're thinking, because I'm old, I'm going to just say it. You've got to remember, I've been broadcasting live for 37 years. Does Scotty like The Who? I do, and I like Doctor Who. Do I like The Who, did you say? Um, now, what else have we got? Thanks, Scotty, I must leave now. Is it wrong to ask a probing question? No, not at all. There we are. Please say hello to my wife, Aileen, as she is listening to you. Thank you very much. Hello, Aileen and Dinky Do. Lovely to have you all with us. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. We're out of time. Right, I'll sing you the song already. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.
Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain au revoir and a cheery o. Maria, thank you so much, my darling. Are you a certified astronaut? Yes. My first line when I got out of the airship was I looked at the moon and I thought, no way could a cow jump over that. I'll say dinky do good night. God bless you, beautiful people. Stay safe. Stay fabulous. Love you lots. Taralas. Dinky do.